can't believe I'm filming like this. Don't judge me like that, Herbie. Let's just try and claw some decency together here. Let's just at least, you know, tie this unbrushed greasy hair back into a ponytail. Good morning. Hi everyone. It's literally 8 a.m. It feels like lunchtime to me because my son woke up at 5 a.m. today. This is the state of my life right now. Look at my nails. You wanna know how I'm doing? This is how I'm doing, babe, okay? Okay? I'm just gonna be completely honest with you. I was like, I don't have anything to film. I don't have anything to show. I can't sit like this. Look at me, think I'm so flexible. I'm like, babe, I'm literally about to give birth again in a couple of weeks time. Like, I can't just sit on my knees. Yeah, I was like really racking my brains trying to think, what can I upload for today's video? Like, what? I, I literally, like, this is me. This is my life right now. I don't have the energy to put makeup on. My house is a complete I don't have anything fun and cool and new to show you in a haul. And then I thought, you know what? Wouldn't it just be fun if I just actually took YouTube back to what it was all those years ago? The whole reason why I actually started my channel in the first place, which was to connect and show real life. Make friends through being honest about life. I'm, don't get me wrong, okay? I am thriving. I am thriving. Look at me. Who would look at me? and think she's not thriving because I am babe. This might be the state of my nails. This might be the state of my hair. This might be the state of my sleep right now. But I'm still over here growing a baby, her looking after a toddler, trying to keep this house run, keeping these two Labradors alive, keeping a marriage going. I'm not gonna lie, my social life is down the toilet. But we're just living our best life doing as best we can, you know? But don't get me wrong, I am thriving. I'm also bobbing my head underwater in like every single available sense at the moment. I just feel like I can never get to grips with all of it. I just feel like I can't do it. I literally just feel like I actually can't do it right now. I feel like if something's going really well, like if I am 24 seven giving my undevoted attention to Saint and being a mum, which is, I'm not gonna lie, it makes me emotional whenever I talk about it because I wish I could be that. 24 7 which mum doesn't i wish i could be that 24 7 like i wish i didn't even have to eat or sleep or do anything i wish i didn't have to spend like two minutes away from him brushing my teeth because i want to be that devoted to him but also if i'm being that devoted to motherhood then that means that the playroom never gets tidied because i'm not tidying up the playroom or the dishes don't get washed because i'm not ever able to stack them or my youtube videos don't get edited because i don't ever have time to edit them the fridge is always empty because i never have time to shop for a food fridge do you know what I mean? I feel like these are very first world problems and I'm totally aware of that, but I just wanted to share a bit of my reality today. I have a day to myself. I don't have Saint here and I don't have Connor here. It's just me and my two big boys. And I thought, you know what? Let's vlog getting my life back together today because she feels like she's falling apart at the seams a little bit. And I'm not gonna lie, actually. I do think a big reason why I feel like this is because yesterday we finally started nursery preparation for the new baby to arrive. That involved Connor emptying all of the wardrobes in that room that are currently his and giving them a clean because we are coming to have them removed today so that we can actually start like fitting a nursery in there. Just a standard morning of looking out the window. It's been collection day, it's a big deal. Uh, well, and also there has been a digger going around the last few days, dad around this road. Yeah, he's just making sure. Just making sure. Always in order outside. Today is the day guys that nursery prep officially begins. We've left it till almost last minute, but we're here. Good job, <laughs> Yeah. Well the man didn't think about where he's going to put those clothes once he takes them out of the wardrobe. So currently right now, my entire upstairs is filled with Connor's clothes on the floor in different groups of 
sections of clothes. And it's talking I've got a pile of boxes here. We've got t-shirts here. We've got joggers here. We've got socks. I'm never, ever, ever buying Connor a pair of socks for Christmas ever again. He literally has about 50 million pairs of socks and it's driving me mad that they are all sat in my hallway right now. And for me personally, an untidy space makes me feel really overstimulated. It, I literally feel as if I can't get anything done. And that's like something that yeah as i get further into motherhood i'm really trying to let go because it's like who am i kidding at the same time like an overly messy place just makes me feel really overstimulated so i know that's a big part of it and that is gonna like get done today like connor's got some drawers arriving that he's gonna put all of his clothes in in this wardrobe i know that like that mess will be like not overstimulating me anymore but i also just feel like every single room in this house needs to be organized there's stuff just everywhere like i also want to wash my hair give myself a good skincare Freshen. That's how long it takes me to get my words out today. Just thriving. But yeah, Saint has this new thing of waking up at five and I have a new thing of being really stupid and staying up till literally 11 o'clock because I've been obsessing over like making myself feel organized for buying like new baby stuff because I haven't bought him anything yet and feel like, oh my God, he's actually gonna be here in a couple of weeks and I'm just not feeling prepared. So do you know what? Let's turn this negativity, okay? This negative energy. We're gonna give ourselves a little bit of a magic one pep talk. Let's get into nesting mode because I think that's clearly what my soul is craving right now. That's what it is, this is nesting. Welcome to the nesting world, Ellie. You've been here once before, now we're back. So, okay, let's get the show on the road. Can someone come and help me up? Hello? 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 Boys? Come on, I just need a little bit of love right now. I just, I can't even form a sentence together. Oh, thank you, Hector. Thank you. Help me up. Don't lie down. Sweet boy, aren't you, Hack? My sweet boy. <laughs> is about having a shower and like putting something not necessarily like other than pajamas but like fresh on even if it was like a brand new fresh pair of pajamas i don't know what it is i'm doing my skincare it always makes me feel 10 times better so can you guys remind me of that when i'm storying like a hot mess express complaining that i literally feel like so gross and stuff just tell me just go and have a shower because no matter what mood i'm in i'm always like it when i'm really ill as well like there's just something about for me having a shower and freshening up just always makes me feel 10 times better but yeah i'm feeling a little bit more collected and i've made a smoothie and me and herbs and baby boy have just been finally finishing off plans for his nursery which feels like a huge thing off of my to-do list i must admit now i'm a mum i feel like really i just need to set myself like one thing a day to prioritize and focus on and anything else i get done is extra is obviously amazing i think a huge reason why i sometimes feel like a bit stressed out and a bit overstimulated is because i just put too much on my to-do list and that's why things just feel like i just can't achieve anything that i want to get done note to self that's what i need to do because now i've done the nursery mood board i've got everything ready lined up in these tabs purchase and order which makes me feel really like <sighs> like that's such a huge thing for me done so I thought I could show you guys quickly the mood board. I'll pop it up on screen rather than show you on here because I know that the screen can sometimes go funny. But I am obsessed with how this has turned out. I've literally spent ages putting it together and trying to find all the bits that I love. I really wanted it to be quite classic, very neutral still. Obviously like in keeping with the rest of the house but very similar to Saint's room. Like small nods to the fact that it is of course a baby's room. So I just feel like with the cloud wallpaper and little cloud garland and the bookshelf, baby mobile and obviously like there'll be other things I get in there that I haven't put on the um mood board things like things like a washing basket and a toy basket and stuff like that will like baby it up a lot more but this is like the important furniture bits that i had to get because some of it takes like a few weeks to arrive so i feel like that's one huge thing off of my to-do list done i'm just gonna go through each tab and purchase everything and then 
get off my laptop and forget about it because furniture is expensive and I haven't had to buy any in a really long time and now I'm happy that like I'm really settled in our house and I don't need to buy any more furniture because I remember when we moved in here and it just felt like a constant like oh my god now I need to do this home decor and I need to sort this room and although it's like always so exciting to me I love home decor and I love like creating new vibes in different rooms stressful it is very stressful so now that i've done the mood board for his room and i feel a lot more organized feel like i can slowly start to make my way through baby list you guys are around on my first pregnancy you will know this is how I literally structured my entire like shopping for everything that I needed to. When you're a first time mum in particular, it can be like really daunting as to everything you need to have a baby. And I'm not gonna lie, like going into it second time around, I was like, I'm sure I'll just like remember it all, but actually I forget because Saint's obviously in a toddler stage now, like he doesn't need three quarters of the baby stuff. But yeah, it's just stuff like swaddles and pram suits like sorry when did saint just wear coats you know what i mean like when did he upgrade from pram suit to coat makes me emotional and together the baby caddies you know it's all of that kind of stuff that i feel like now i have like compartmentalized in my mind that his room is done i can start doing all of that stuff and connor went up into the attic the other day actually which is where we put all of saint's baby stuff and organized through like which items are good enough to be reusable again i saved most things and i'm really excited to get back out all of saint's baby clothes because i've just been on the white company looking at newborn clothes and loads of it is actually sold out but i did buy loads of really cute little like baby grows from there for saint so i'm excited to get them out and wash them and i really hope that the mice in the attic haven't got them because i will be really emotional but one of them my favorite one i don't know if you guys remember or know of the baby grow from the white company that is like blue and white stripes i'll try and pop a picture of of saint up in here if i have one but i know i definitely saved that and when i was just on the white company website i saw they did it in saint's age saint's in like the final stage that they do it in so i'm gonna buy him one and get a matching brother's picture oh my god there is groundworks literally going on about two meters in front of me right now so apologies if you can hear that but first thing i'm gonna get done this afternoon because it is the afternoon now i don't know where the time goes is hang the laundry up i did a white load this morning i'm gonna try and get another load done this afternoon got my trusty amazon drying rack let's start i feel like this video is going to be a lot of time lapses today as i get my life organized <laughs> write a to-do list of everything I want to get done to make me feel a little bit more accomplished and put together today. I thought I'd show you guys my notebooks because I haven't and I've been really excited to show you them <laughs> which sounds really silly but I ordered them back at like Christmas time and I was like oh my god I feel like everyone's gonna love those. Life gets in the way sometimes. These four notebooks I know you're probably thinking what's the difference between literally any of them. I could not live my life without. So first of all, this is my planner that I'm using this year. This is from a company called Magic of Eye. You guys know if you've been around for a while, I have loved using my big Law of Attraction planners every year from Amazon. But this year, I don't know what it was going into this year. I just wanted a bit of a bit of a different design i feel like as lovely as they are some of the ones on amazon but like are maybe a little bit outdated i wanted something a bit neater so i just googled like astrology planners spirituality planners and i found this one it's very like spiritual so if you want to get into your star signs more or manifestation more or anything like that i know it's already like halfway through february now but maybe something's just keeping mind for next year i think it's really brilliant they've got literally all of the like astrology dates that you'd want to know if you're into that kind of thing they have a whole section at the start of the planner that is like making intentions for your year and how you want your year to go across loads of different elements of your life like spiritual mental work love well i really enjoyed doing that and then it also like breaks it down for you at the start of each month this kind of layout which i really like because it means that i can write a lot in every day oh my gosh i didn't know that that was i just opened that random page and that was our first wedding anniversary that week 
so cute. So anyway, that's my planner. That's how I structure my weeks and get, like my actual plans going on. And then the next three are what I bought myself from a company called, I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm pretty sure it's Papier. I chose to personalize them all. So this is literally my journal. I write all of my random things in here. My to-do lists, bits for work. This is just kind of like a bit of a general notebook. This one I bought for my meditation. I like to have a journal specifically for my meditation. And obviously I go to my meditation group every week and I really enjoy taking this and writing in my notes from the group every week. It's just nice to be able to look back on it because I go really deep into my meditation sometimes and if I don't write straight away what I had come to me during my meditation and I forget and so sometimes I read back through it and I'm like oh my god yeah that makes so much sense now etc and then this one I can't show you the name of it because it's got well there's no point me showing you that one but it has my name on the bottom and it has um the name of my secret project that is coming hopefully this week fingers crossed to you guys which can't wait but yeah I felt like I needed like a separate notebook for that because again I needed to compartmentalize my thoughts I felt like if I had it all in one journal my mind would be everywhere so anyway I'm gonna sit down with my proper journal now and make a to-do list and honestly I think I'm just gonna do like bits I need to tidy around the house like now is so ridiculous do you know what that's gonna be first thing on my to-do list book nail appointment you need to get your life together babe oh what else do i need to do i need to order a new dog bed because the boys need a new bed because that is worse for wear to say the least tidy saint's wardrobe in kitchen do you know what else i need to do that i really don't have the energy for decluttering that playroom i need to honestly make it like a weekly thing so it doesn't build up to be such a huge huge chore i think i'm gonna spare myself for that one today because i think that might send me into overdrive if i have to declutter that playroom I need to do a bit of editing and emails okay i feel like that's enough for me to go off of right now oh my gosh this baby is kicking oh i actually didn't mention it but yesterday i actually went to the hospital i was being monitored due to baby's reduced movements i wasn't going to mention anything because there's nothing to worry about like the baby's absolutely fine i'm absolutely fine but i kind of feel like it's important to speak about so essentially what happened was usually my baby's kicks are really really strong in the night like when I say strong, I'm not just talking like, oh yeah, I feel him. Like, he so commonly, like, kicks me so hard in the ribs that sometimes I literally, like, yelp in pain. Saint was never like that. This baby is very, like, strong-willed, knows how to use his feet. So I kind of, like, you know, have a moment to myself every evening when I'm about to go to bed or have just got in bed where I kind of just lie there for 10 minutes and just enjoy really tuning into him and his kicks and I hadn't really felt him all day but I thought I'm not really gonna worry because I've been really busy today I've not really been tuning into him and his kicks or his like behavior today so I miss him which I feel like if you haven't been pregnant there they go again you might not quite know what I mean when I say oh I miss him but uh, yeah, I just, I really just wanted to like listen to him for 10 minutes, but nothing came. And this was two nights ago at all. And I was like prodding him and I, like it got to the point where I ate loads of sugary snacks to try and, you know, like spike his movement a little bit more. And I just couldn't feel a thing. It was really, really bizarre. I said to Connor, something doesn't really feel quite right. But I just kind of convinced myself that it definitely moved. Like I'm sure he's moved. I just haven't felt it much today because i've been so busy and then yesterday morning i obviously had this on my mind that i felt like i hadn't spoken <laughs> to the baby very much so i kind of was you know doing it again even though he's typically quieter in the day anyway but still something just felt really off so i called my midwife and of course they were absolutely incredible it just meant that i had to go and be monitored for the morning and had and i had my blood pressure taken and stuff like that and my blood pressure was actually low which mixed with low iron has been like no wonder as to why i've kind of been feeling a little bit just exhausted and like almost i i guess kind of a little bit like what how i feel like why i feel today just like i haven't got my life together right now honestly anyway i had a really big chat with the midwife all about obviously how i have an anterior placenta and it's never really affected how i feel his movement at all to be honest like when i found out i had an anterior placenta i was like oh that's sad i feel like i'm not going to be able to 
you know, tune into his movements very much because you always just hear about how people who have anterior placentas can't feel movement. But that hasn't been the case for me. I've felt his movement so much. My midwife was just like, it might just be that he's just behind the anterior placenta, but obviously like they did all the tests and everything was fine with him. But the reason I tell you this story is just because I want to reassure you that if you are a pregnant mum or a mum of any kind, please, please follow your gut, follow your intuition. It's so important to do that like you have your intuition for a reason i mentioned that i've been into hospital on my instagram story and to follow your intuition and the amount of messages i had back that were like oh i kind of felt a bit like this but i you know you just kind of don't want to feel like you're making a big deal out of something that could be nothing i just feel like sometimes we can get on our own heads about stuff like that but yeah i just wanted to give you your reminder today that your intuition never lies to you and it's important to go and get stuff like that checked if you feel cool too. Anyway, I've been feeling him kick a lot today, like to the point where I feel like, okay, you've really made up for your lack of activity yesterday. Other than the 5am wake up call after going to bed stupidly late for me, I'm feeling okay. I'm on iron tablets now and I've been taking that with a glass of orange juice when I've put orange juice in my smoothie. So hopefully within a couple of days that will start to kick in. I'm going to need to talk to Saint about these 5am wake ups because honestly I'm not the kind of gal that can cope with it. To be really honest with you, you see all of these people all over social media like I wake up at 4am, I wake up at 3am and I go for a run and I meditate and I do this and I do that and I'm blah 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 blah. Babe, if I wake up at 5am it defines me for the rest of the day and not in a good way, okay? Oh, the urge to make a cup of tea and go for a nap versus work through my to-do list and tidy this house. Um, put the boat in the water. Oh. Yeah, the sailing boat. You ready? So you put it on the seaside. Put it in the water. Good uh, job. Good boy. Perfect. Guys, right, first of all, look at my son's cute outfit today. Hi, model. Uh, but look at these cool sticker books that I bought Saint from Amazon. He's really into stickers at the moment. Ever since I bought him Bam. the stocky bed box with the stickers that like we spelt his name on the bed box for ice cream truck you've loved stickers haven't you so i had a really quick look on amazon yesterday when i was doing a big order <laughs> and i found these really cool Put sticker books and they were like really cheap Good and these job. stickers are like like reusable because they're not actually like sticky they're just like almost magnetic he's currently playing with the vehicles one but we also got him animals dinosaurs and, and space. space wow what's on the space one dad's interested in that one yeah, Connor's just interested in all of it. Anyone else's Whoa. husband's baby daddy's like this? Like, Hi. I buy Saint something and Connor's Hi. in the child. This looks uh, cool. Gets jealous and takes over the whole game. Also bought that... him this first 100 words. He knows a lot of these words, so I kind of wish that I got him it earlier, but there's so many little games that you can do with it. Like, I get him to point and I, I say things like, where's the yellow car? Or where's the green apple or whatever. And you like that, don't you? You like your you what your word book? Pie, pie. Oh. Digger, digger. Digger. Yeah, that's your digger, isn't it? That's your digger. That's Saint driving it. That's Saint. Digger, digger. Wow. And bye. I also bye. got one this. We haven't cracked open yet. Anyway, so today is a new day as you guys can probably tell i'm actually feeling so much better than when i was vlogging yesterday i've just been editing back like yeah all the footage that you guys have just seen yesterday was just been a total mixture of like pregnancy hormones tiredness not feeling great due to low iron low blood pressure which i'm on medication for now so hopefully that's kind of nipped that in the bud and i can start feeling a little bit more back to myself i am so excited to show you guys what we were doing all last night i stopped vlogging yesterday what were we doing all that last night we were getting the baby's room yeah, ready yeah, uh oh uh oh no. isn't it Bob? we were we we were yes oh he's all ran out of raisins ah oh. ah oh. okay baby boy we're gonna be at tesco's in one minute okay wow look how big this dog is this is what i've oh this is what I've had to start to do with Saint now. He's really getting to an age, as you guys can probably like tell through seeing him on videos and stuff, where his, his communication verbally is like 
really really handy like i think back to like even six months ago and i'm like uh -oh. what babe now that saint can speak to us it's like poor little souls not being able to talk to us we're gonna get to tesco's in one minute okay we're gonna park up our car then we're going to walk into tesco's and you can sit in the trolley I have to literally tell like many stories of words that he knows to try and distract him from the fact that he's like grumpy or hungry or tired. And then we're gonna put some nanas in the trolley. Uh, what else, Mum? And we're going to wave hello to everyone that we walk past and say, how are you? Hi. Hi, my name is Sane. I'm Sane and this is Mummy and Daddy when he's Daddy. tired. Yeah. And we're like literally two minutes away from home. I have to tell him the same story every time. It's like, we're going to walk through the door into our house in one minute and then we're going to say hi Herbie, hi Hecky, hi Daddy. Have our bath, have our bath. I can't really say many of these words because now he's going to be like, what? I thought you just said we were going to Tesco's. But yeah, this is our wild Saturday night, guys. We're actually just en route to Tesco's to do a little... Just a waste of time, to be honest. Yeah. We got to do. Got a little, yeah, yeah. little restock in the fridge. But actually, if this makes you guys feel any better, if you literally have got no plans this weekend, or if like you're just in with the kids or whatever, I actually asked you guys on my stories last night, just out of interest, what's everybody up to? And what is everyone saying? Ninety-seven percent of people. Were oh, there was a really funny response. Oh, I'm not going to be able to find it, but it was something like having a bath and then folding the laundry. What else can you do with a newborn? <laughs> oh my gosh, Con. I'm just reading through some of these. Someone said, chilling with my pup. I actually saw Connor the other day, but I was too scared to say hello. Oh, honey, you should have said hello to me. Where did you see me to? Shout yeah. out. Someone else said, take away some chill time before my son wakes up for the night feeds. Head into Tesco's at five o'clock on a Saturday night. Ready to party. Yeah, this time, what, four years ago, Els, we were at out no we won't con disco do you know what makes me laugh like whenever i'm like oh my saturday nights are just spent you know doing nothing doing nothing it's like yeah but babe they always have been doing that even five years before i had a baby my saturday nights were spent doing nothing i don't know who i like tried to pretend i am in my memory like i that's just this has always been me and actually do you know what it is my dream life who you are it's just who i am like what can i say I'm a gal that loves chilling. Oh, look at these pajamas. Do you like your jump, these jammies? Bath. Yeah, your bus. Connor was looking for a birthday card for a friend, so we went down the toy aisle. Bath. Yeah, your bus. Person to daddy. Thank you. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Maybe dad won't get past them. These ones. Give them to daddy. 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 You want one? Daddy. Okay, let daddy scan them. Daddy. What do you say? Yeah. Mummy, have a cookie. Cheers. Cheers. Let me eat. Morning. Saint vlog? Hi everyone! Hi everyone! Hi everyone! Hi everyone! Hi everyone! Look. Hey cameraman, I'm gonna have to find someone else. Uh, if you don't stop with his unprofessional angles. There's someone here ready to take his place. Saying your deputy cameraman is ready to take over your job. Yeah. Should we go into Big Brother's room? Oh, good idea. I thought to finish off this vlog, we could show you the progress that we've made with Baby Brother's room. Uh, can you guys believe? I literally, I'm so excited already. I can't even yeah, yeah, yeah. tell you. Wow, look at this, Boppy. Where's your baby brother going to sleep? Where's his bed? So he's got his magic wand ready to the 60 minute makeover. <laughs> so 
So obviously this panelling needs to go all the way up to the edge of the wall. We're gonna have it extended over here. I'm thinking wallpaper on the top half of the walls. Cot here. I've bought a like changing table to go here. Not sure if we're gonna keep this rug or not. Guys, please ex excuse the mess. We literally did this last night. Oh, they don't care. They don't care? They okay, don't care. excuse the hair as well. They might care about that. Excuse the CrossFit outfit. Cool funky dude. I'm ready for cardio club today. <laughs> hey, we're gonna be doing our own cardio club, aren't we? Because mum's version of cardio club at the moment is... Mm, pushing his monster truck. <laughs> yeah. The only thing we're a little bit stuck on, guys, mm. is the chair situation. Show the door. The door. So, How the door's the door funny, open? isn't it? Very open door. Yeah, because the, the walls are like an angle. This area is sort of... It gets a bit blocked space, off. Because of the... Feng Shui is a bit off. Just have the door up against the wall. But obviously, baby boy will need to go to sleep. And a little bit older baby boy might run in and wake him up if the door's open. Mightn't you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just a bit unsure as to where to put a chair really. I mean this isn't the chair that we're going to have in here, this is just a spare chair that we've brought in here. See how it would kind of fit. It is a lovely chair though. It is really nice and to be fair it would go so maybe I will keep it there but I don't know. Let's see. You might just have to be careful opening the door on me Con, to be honest. Hi. I'll be sat here. Put some in your... Feeding baby boy. Put some in your hands. Oh. Are uh, yeah. you helping moisturise? this one. What a great coach you have there, Dad. I know, you're telling me how to get ready for my cardio club, aren't you? Yeah, and you might just open the door and bang into my knee. That's the last thing you want, isn't it? I just have to say, Con, I'm in here. Well, I've door shot someone in there. Job done. Yeah. So, little baby boy, if you're ever going to watch this one day. Is that in there? Baby. Ah, uh, that's not. <laughs> Go beep beep. <laughs> beep beep. Good job, buddy. <laughs> beep beep. She told beep beep. Beep beep. <laughs> anyway, guys, I am going to love you and leave you. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, whatever you are doing. Sending lots of love from the Swift family. One, two, three, four. Four. Five and six downstairs. Five and six downstairs. We love you all so much. And see we'll you see you in the one. next video. Bye. Love ya.